What do I think? Well, you're going to find out in this video. We're going to try the almond face mask from Dermal. So let's check it out. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Amanda from Local Love and we are back. We have not forgotten that we still have more masks to do and we want to try them all. So we're back on the Dermal brand masks and this one is for almond. Uh, this one's the Almond It's Real Superfood Mask and it says it's softening and hydrating. And uh, yeah, it contains almond with rich vitamin E that gives full moist and makes skin smooth. That's literally what it says, full moist. Okay, I have to remember that some of these are probably not from the U.S., so... Alright, so, for those of you who haven't already been on this, uh, these videos, we do have some other ones for a tomato, the avocado, the spirulina. We're going to try the almond today, and it's very simple. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to put this on, and so we think. So let's open it up and check out the first impressions. Let's see what I think. I would have thought it'd be kind of cherry smelling because you know sometimes like amaretto would be like kind of cherry but it's not it's a slimy one but let's pull it out very 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 wet it's, I don't know if you can see it but let's uh, gingerly open this up and see if we can get this on our face right so what's your normal routine guys let me know down in the comments below. We want to hear from you if there's a mask we should be trying here or if you have a particular regimen that you'd like to see us do, let us know. We're happy to, to try to do that for you. Or if you've heard of about a mask that you want to see us try and maybe you've never tried it, that's fine too. Just let us know. Sorry, my face is itching apparently. All right, so everything's been washed, all right? So what we're going to do now is we've got this thing mostly situated here. As I was saying, we're going to start as we would normally start and we're going to put this on the forehead first and then work it around. So let's give this a try. It's a little cooler out here, a lot of wind, so you guys will probably hear more wind. So it's probably going to be a little chilly to have this mask on, but we're going to give it a try. It's not really cold per se. But when you put something that's already kind of chilly on your face, oh, we got the Santa Claus effect. Ho, ho, ho. As per usual. Ooh, it's so cold on my face. I maybe should have done this one inside, huh? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just get this worked out so that it's on the edges here and laid down the best I can. You know, these don't always cooperate because they're meant to fit everybody. And we're just going to push it in to the areas that I have the most trouble with. I have a lot of red in my face. I have a lot of like some broken blood vessels and things. Not the most beautiful look. And some heavy duty pores as well. So lots of uh, trouble spots. So we'll see if we can get some moisture into the skin though. Because I've been very, very dry. I also like to just kind of smooth it in here too. And maybe behind the ears. Which is sort of a dry area for me sometimes. Seems like an odd place to be dry, but it is. So we'll do that. And uh, other than that, guys, you know, comment down below. Let us know what you think of this What I Think series. And, uh, you know, if you like it, excuse me, that's not good to eat, by the way. Do not put this in, in your mouth. <laughs> not very good. Okay. And I'll probably just rub it into my hands. All right, guys. Let us know what you think uh, as well, and if you've ever tried this brand or this particular mask, this is the Dermal It's a Real Food Mask, and see what you think. Okay, so the, let's see how the almond one works. I'll be back in 15 minutes. See you then. Alrighty guys, well I've been out here for 15 minutes with this mask on and I think it's still pretty wet believe it or not. I'm kind of surprised there must be some almond oil in it maybe. I don't know. But this one seemed to stay pretty pretty wet. So now we're going to do what I always do which is go ahead and 
not only pull off this mask, but we're gonna go ahead and just check this packaging and see if there's any more stuff we can kind of dab onto this and tap into the skin. We wanna get all that money's worth, you know what I'm saying? By the way, guys, if you want any of these masks, they do come in a package of different uh, varieties from spinach to artichoke to obviously almond and uh, avocado. You can get a whole bunch of them and uh, that link will be down in the, in the uh, description. So certainly if you want to try these, you can buy a whole group of them together. And then, you know, you might have some for different skin types in your household even, you know, if you're trying to shop for like your mom or some other people, why not? A little self-care day never hurt anybody, especially during a pandemic. So I'm just tapping it in. That's the other thing it says to do. I think we've pretty much got everything out of there. And it just says, take off the mask and pat the remaining essence until completely absorbed into the skin. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so now this one does smell very pleasant. Um, not feeling anything as, a, you know, particularly like moisturizing about it as of yet, I guess. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell while it's still very wet. I mean, it's super wet still. Once it dries, perhaps it'll show a little bit more. I mean, no burning, no issues. I don't think my skin looks all that different than when it, you know, when I came out here. But uh, it, right now it looks more moisturized, but it, then again, it's also pretty wet, right? It's a little chilly out here with the wind kicking, so if you see me patting it in, I'm hurrying because I, I'd rather not have this wet stuff on my face while it's chilly out here, to be honest. But it is what it is, and we're here, and we did it, it and our time is up. So I still have a little left on my hands, so I'm just going to kind of rub it in. Why not? See if it makes any difference on my arms. They get dry too. Why not? It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Then I'm gonna go in and wash my hands. I'm gonna let this stay on my face. It does not say to wash it off, so I would assume you do not. I have not been washing these off, and so that we're gonna stay in that same realm. But other than that, guys, yeah, this one's very nice, and uh, you know, you'll get to see my skin the next time I do the next mask and be able to kind of get an idea if I get any kind of moisturizing properties from it. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be very hydrating and softening. And I won't know that until it's completely dry, which it's still quite wet at this time. But yeah, um, vitamin E and uh, almond, it's very good for your skin, so we'll see. I, I actually like this so far, and I think it'll end up being a very good mess. So, so far, Dermal, you're doing a good job. The almond, it's a real superfood mask by Dermal. So yeah. And again, they have a whole line of these. You're gonna find it in the description below if you want some for yourself. And so far, I think this one's probably a winner. Uh, so far, my skin's feeling pretty soft. So we'll see what happens and see if it helps at all with any of this dryness that I get right up in here and around the edges of my face as well is kind of a, a common problem area. Sorry for the wind, you guys. It's literally trying to lift this table off, so I should probably go. But yeah, so that's my thinking. I think this one's a winner too. And uh, so far I haven't really disliked any of their masks, but uh, we'll see. They're all a little different. Some of them are a little more creamy and some are a little more goopy. But um, yeah, I mean, it all works out to be pretty good so far. And I did notice because I hadn't done any lately that my skin had gotten more dry and less cared for. So they must be doing something for my skin if while I was on them, they made my skin act out a little better. So something to think about. So yeah, get some for yourself. And uh, this one's a winner. And other than that, guys, thank you guys as always for watching. We appreciate it. We have a variety of videos on our channel. Uh, if you're a local Central Florida person, you can check our daily event posts on our local Love Orlando Entertainment page. Uh, and of course, every week we do the local love report on Wednesdays. And then we also upload on Fridays, Saturdays, and Mondays as well. So yeah, we've got plenty for you guys to watch. Make sure you check it out and we'll see you next time. Peace.
don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And hit that bell so you know when we have a new video.